This is Nick from Firewalls.com, and today I'm going to be talking about and showing you how to configure intrusion prevention on a sonic wall firewall. So first of all, we're just going to go in and enable it. So we're going to start in Manage, go down to Security Services here, and Intrusion Prevention. First step is actually enabling it. So we're going to enable it and apply and that gives you the options of what you want to pre prevent and detect. Um, if you want maximum security to prevent attacks of the, the highest caliber, you're going to want to go ahead and prevent and detect all. However, you should be aware that this could cause issues with things that the sonic wall sees as attacks, but you actually are intending to do within your network. Things such as different kinds of terminal services can trigger IPS and there's lots of different things so later I will be showing you how to configure exceptions for IPS however I think it's important to realize exactly what IPS is and what it does so on a sonic wall the way they define it is that IPS is essentially an antivirus that delivers a configurable high-performance deep packet inspection engine for extended protection of key network services such as your web, your email, your file transfer, different Windows services, and your domain name services. So that is really the uh, general overview of IPS, what it does, how to enable it, um, so look forward next week to another quick video on configuring some different settings and exceptions within the IPS management interface. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure that you like and subscribe, and have a great day.